gamers, creators, and tech enthusiasts, brace yourselves because NVIDIA just dropped an absolute bomb at CES 2025. Here it is. Our brand new GeForce RTX 50 series Blackwell architecture. The GPU is just a beast. The RTX 50 series is here, and it's about to rewrite the rules of gaming, AI, and computer graphics as we know it. This is not just an upgrade, it's a revolution. Let's dive in. First, let's set the stage. NVIDIA's Jensen Huang just called the RTX 5090 the biggest leap in GPU history. And honestly, he's not exaggerating. This new flagship is promising twice the performance of the RTX 4090. Here's what that looks like in action. Cyberpunk 2077 running at 238 frames per second on the RTX 5090 with DLSS 4 compared to 106 frames per second on the RTX 4090 with DLSS 3.5. That's not just an upgrade, it's a game changer. And Jensen didn't hold back. He claims the 5070 delivers 4090 performance at just $549. If that's true, Nvidia might have just killed their own flagship GPU from last gen, but it doesn't stop there. This generation introduces real-time AI rendering, and a feature Nvidia is calling multi-frame generation, which can literally predict the future by generating up to three additional frames for every one rendered. This means up to an 8x performance boost in supported games. And let's not forget the cooling redesign. The RTX 5090 now fits into a sleek two-slot form factor, making it compatible with more cases than ever. This is groundbreaking. NVIDIA isn't just giving us one new GPU. They've revealed an entire RTX 50 series lineup. Here's how it breaks down. All right, let's break down these prices for the new RTX 50 series lineup. Starting off with the RTX 5090, the absolute beast of the lineup, priced at $1,999. Next up, we've got the RTX 5080, coming in at $999. Then there's the mid-tier performer, the RTX 5070 Ti at a solid $1,999, $749. And finally, the budget-friendly powerhouse, the RTX 5070, at just $549. All of these are designed to crush their 40 series counterparts, and the best part, the first two, the 5090 and 5080, will be available as soon as January 30th, with the 5070 Ti and 5070 following in February. Let's zoom in on the RTX 5090, because this is where NVIDIA flexes its engineering muscles. This card is built on the new Blackwell architecture and packs some jaw-dropping specs. The RTX 5090 comes with 21,760 CUDA cores, a monstrous 32 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory, and a jaw-dropping 1.8 terabytes per second of bandwidth. That's double what the 4090 offers. But the real star here? DLSS4 with multi-frame generation. This tech can generate three additional frames for everyone rendered, giving you up to eight times the performance boost. Now let's talk about DLSS4 because this is where the RTX 50 series really pulls ahead. Multi-frame generation, DLSS4, can generate up to three additional frames for every one rendered, giving you up to an 8x performance boost. 92 billion transistors, 4,000 tops, four petaflops of AI, three times higher than the last generation ADA, and we need all of it to generate those pixels that I showed you. Improved visual fidelity. DLSS4 introduces a transformer-based architecture, delivering sharper images, reduced ghosting, and higher frame stability. Games like Cyberpunk 2077 and Far Cry 6 look sharper, run faster, and feel more responsive than ever. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a revolution in how we experience gaming. 
NVIDIA didn't just stop at performance. They're pushing AI deeper into gaming. RTX neural shaders bring movie-level realism to materials, lighting, and character faces. And get this, PUBG's new AI companions, powered by NVIDIA Ace, aren't just bots. They think, strategize, and act like human players. Is this the future of gaming? Laptops just leveled up too. The RTX 5090 laptop GPU packs 24 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory into a portable powerhouse. For $1,299, you get 4,090 level performance in a thin and light laptop. Imagine carrying a gaming desktop in your backpack. This is insane. 1299, this 5070 laptop has a 4090 performance. I think there's one here somewhere. So can you imagine? You get this incredible graphics card here, Blackwell. We're gonna shrink it and put it, in, put it in there. Does that make any sense? Most of the pixels using pixels using our tensor cores. So we ray trace only the pixels we need, and we generate using artificial intelligence all of the other pixels we have. The 5090 will fit into a laptop, a thin laptop. That last laptop was 14, 14.9 millimeters. You got a 5080, 5070 Ti, and 5070. Now, before you sell your kidney for the 5090, let's talk reality. For gamers, the performance boost might not be as groundbreaking without DLSS 4 enabled. But for creators, the extra VRAM and memory bandwidth are a dream come true. So, is it worth upgrading? The answer is yes, but only if you're ready to embrace the future of AI-driven graphics. NVIDIA just proved that the future of gaming isn't just about raw power. It's about AI transforming the way we play, create, and interact with technology. This is the start of a new era, and I can't wait to see where it goes. Hit that like button, subscribe for the full review, and let me know in the comments. Are you ready to take the leap into the 50 series? See you in the next one. This new flagship is promising twice the performance of the RTX 4090. Here's what that looks like in action. Cyberpunk 2077, running at 238 frames per second on the RTX 5090 with DLSS 4, compared to 106 frames per second on the RTX 4090 with DLSS 3.5.